In this video, we're going to use Newton's method to approximate the root of a polynomial function or the solution of an algebraic equation. It says use Newton's method with the specified initial approximation x0 to find x2, the third approximation to the root of the equation given below. So, what is Newton's method? So I'm going to write that here, Newton's method. Newton's method states that if we have x of n plus 1, it's equal to xn minus f of xn over f prime of xn. And this is a method for approximating basically the roots um, of a of a function. You can see that this is a third degree polynomial, so we should have three roots, and we're going to approximate one of the roots. And basically all you need to know is a number that's close to the root to start. And if you know a number that's close to the root to start, you can use Newton's method to basically go through uh, numerous iterations where you get closer and closer to the actual root. So how do we use this? <clears throat> Well, you can see that we have f of x in, f prime of x in. In our case, we have x zero. So we're going to write this out as this is x to the zero plus one, which is x to the zero, or x of zero minus f of x zero over f prime. Oop, I put that too far. f prime of x zero. This should not have been over there. Okay. So what we want to do is we want to figure out what is f of x0. So we're going to say f of 0 to start. And we're going to plug 0 into this equation. And when you do that, you get negative 5. So that's easy enough. But now we got to do f prime. And I'm going to kind of write out what f prime is right here. So f prime of x is equal to 9x squared minus 8. So now we got to figure out what f prime of negative or of zero is. F prime of three. I screwed up to begin with. Whoops. We need to find not f of zero. That was bad. We need to find f of three because we're doing f of x zero. And x zero is three. So f of three for this function. I'm going to use the calculator to do a lot of this work. So I'm plugging 3 into that function, and we're going to have, I'm just going to write it here. This would be 3x cubed minus 8x minus 5. I'm also going to put in the derivative right now, 9x squared minus 8. So I'm putting in both functions so I can use them over and over again. Now I'm going to take 3 and I'm going to store it as x. Grab the first function. It tells me I get 52. So f of 3 is 52. And then I'm going to write down what f prime of 3 is. So if I grab the derivative, it tells me I got 73. Okay. So we're going to now use those. And the formula. And so we've got equals x of 0 is 3. So minus f of, we're going to say this is, so this is x of 1 essentially. I'm going to rewrite. And now keep going. This is 3 minus f of x0, which would be f of 3. So I'm just going to write f of 3 here over f prime of 3. Plug all that in, we get 3 minus f of 3 is 52 over f prime of 3 is 73. Which, when we do that piece, we get 52 over 73. We get, uh, let's get a decimal here. Two point two eight seven, 
And what do they want? Nearest thousandth, so that works. 2.288. Okay, so that's what x1 is. I'm just going to write x1 right here. Now, we're looking for x2. We want to find x2. So to find x2, we're going to say that this is x1 plus 1, which would be x of 1 minus f of x1 over f prime of x1, which for us, x1 is 2.288. I'm going to use the fraction though. The fraction that I got there was 167 over 73 minus, uh, now I got to plug in F of 167 over 73 over F prime of 167 over 73. Now this is calculator work, so I'm going to just use this, uh, use this piece. So I, I'm going to set this, 167 to 73, as x. And then I'm going to go up and I'm going to grab the original function. And that gives me a nasty number, but we're going to write it down. So this is f of 167 over 73 is going to equal that nasty number, which is 105,569 over 8368. Now we're gonna do the same thing for F prime of 167 over 73. So I'll go up and grab, grab the Derivative and another nasty number that's 208,369 over 5329. 5329, not 99. Nine. Okay, so then we're going to write those in here. So we're going to say 167 over 73 minus. One zero five five six nine over eight three six eight divided by two zero eight three six nine over five three two nine and I'm gonna use my calculator to figure all that out. Got all the fractions in there. So subtract. Oop, screwed her up. Screwed up. All right, I got 1.965. 1 Once I fix that little piece, and that's x2. And they were asking us for a, uh, yeah, the third approximation, so x, x2 to be, and so we've got 1.965. So we're gonna say that this is the, um, this is the approximate root. root for um, f of x. Now we could actually check this. So this will be fun. Let's store this as x. And then if we just go grab the original function, we should get really close to zero. Well, not quite close to zero, 2.04. Um, but the idea is there that you keep doing that over and over and over again until you get the exact approximation.